Internet Internet is a global network of computers which are interconnected with millions of computers across the world. It enables users to communicate with each other, share and access information such as news, sports, education, defense, etc. The internet helps you to get connected to the people across the globe. We use the internet every now and then. It has raised the connectivity and our work easier and faster. Internet provides us with many facilities. It helps you to get information on various topics via electronic newspapers and magazines. The internet is used for billing in stores. It is used for banking. We can watch movies and TV shows online. We can also use the internet for booking railway or air tickets, navigating and mapping places and for planning a vacation. E-learning and e-commerce is also provided by the internet. We can share thoughts and views with people all over the world through the internet. Online or internet terminologies help you to understand and work on the internet in a better way. WWW stands for World Wide Web. It is also known simply as the web and is the biggest service available on the internet. It consists of websites and web pages. These web pages make up informative websites, email websites, blogs, social media and other websites. A website is a collection of web pages. Websites are created for specific purposes. Some popular websites are google.com, youtube.com, msn.com, wikipedia.org, etc. A web browser is software that allows you to access websites on the internet. Some web browsers are Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, etc. A web server is a system that delivers content or services to end users over the internet. Web pages are the individual pages that are available on the World Wide Web and can be accessed through the web browsers. A web page can have text, audio, video and other multimedia content. The highlighted text or graphics on a page which when clicked lead you to different pages for additional information are called hyperlinks. Each website must have its own registered address through which it can be identified. The address of a website is called web address or URL. URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. For example, www.5eeducation.com is the URL of 5e Education website. Home page is the first page of a website which is displayed when its address is typed in the browser. Home page usually contains information about what the website is about and what resources you will find there. To browse on the internet, you need to open an internet browser. One such program is Internet Explorer. Let us use Internet Explorer to go online and then do an internet search for something. Follow the steps to open Internet Explorer. Click on Start button. Go to All Programs and then click on Internet Explorer. Type the website address of your choice in the address bar and press Enter key to go to the site. Instead of going through the Start menu, there is an easier way to open Internet Explorer. Just click on the Internet Explorer shortcut icon on the desktop. You can also copy and paste the URL in the address bar to open any website. Email stands for electronic mail. It is a message sent from one computer to another over a network. Messages sent via email are very fast and free of cost. You need an email address to send and receive emails. Some email services are Gmail, Yahoo Mail, Outlook, Hotmail, etc. Gmail is the most popular email service provider in the world. It has achieved this status due to these features. 15 GB free space. 
automatic categorization of incoming messages, strong spam filtering, malware and virus detection, built-in chat, search for messages easily. To create a Gmail account, follow the steps given below. Type www.gmail.com in your web browser to open Gmail website. Click on Create an Account button to open the Create your Google account page. Fill your name and choose a username. If the username is already taken, Google will tell you so when you move to the next box. Use a combination of letters, characters and dots to create a username. You can choose a name suggested by Google too. Choose a password of 8 characters and reconfirm it and enter your birthday and gender. Click on Next Step button to open the Privacy and Terms window. Scroll to the bottom of the window if the I Agree button is not visible and click it to open the Welcome window as shown. Click on Continue to Gmail to open a window displaying some features of Gmail. Keep clicking on Next button till you get a screen. Click on Go to Gmail button to open the Gmail window. Now you can send and receive messages on your email address.